Let me get to some really shocking prose in the autobiography. This is, remember, he's writing this in the 19th century. He calls Christianity a damnable doctrine. That's pretty strong language. I mean, we expect people to say that in public now. We, you know, we all hear this. But to, for someone in the 19th century to write this is really, uh, really quite something. He says it's a damnable doctrine because it says that his brother, father, and grandfather, father, must suffer everlasting punishment because they didn't believe the doctrines of Christianity. And he uses the word damnable in a way to sort of throw in the face of the religious authorities a doctrine that was very standard in the Christianity of Darwin's time and place, that people who do not believe in various Christian doctrines are damned to suffer in hell for all eternity. And this was part of the problem of evil in a way for, for Darwin. Um, how could a good God do that to the people he loved the most, who most, who many, of, many of whom were doubters, but good men? Um, that's why he, whatever his views about the existence of God, we know what he thought about Christianity. He didn't like it. <laughs>